What up, y'all? It's your boy Tony Kirk back again with another vid, man. Living in America, the black community. Fear projection. Fear projection, bro. Like, let's let this scene play out because it's an iconic scene and we're going to get right into it. Carl, what do you want? You got to eat to keep your strength up, man. Hey, I'll take a number nine, fat boy. Fat boy. Give me number nine, just like he is. Uh, let me get a number six with extra dip. I'll have two number nines. Number, number nine large. A number six with extra dip. A number seven. Two number 45s. One with cheese. And a large soap. <laughs> okay, look at this. Sorry, bro. You know I gotta know about mine. I know, CJ, I know. I'm just trying not to think about it. I mean, I didn't even know she was hit until it was all over. Yeah, right, 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 right. Let's eat. Hey, don't we got beef around here? We been getting into it with these fools. I can't stand cold food. Unlike you, I ain't never ate from a trash can. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> trash can, bitch. Pass me my food. Hey, hey, look. Kilo Trey scoping us out. Damn, Ryder, you a jinx. Shit, the motherfuckers headed to the hood. Drive by! Man. Hit it, go, go, go. It's a gas, you gotta ice these niggas. Why you ain't blasting? Hit the gas, you gotta ice these niggas. Stab out of here. Let's go. Man, this game is so good. <laughs> okay, oh, I just can't get it. Speed up a little bit. This game is so fucking good, bro. Oh my god. You know those videos that be like, um, how you knew Big Smoke was a trade? Like, okay, first of all, before I even talk about trading with the damn Big Smoke, I have never, ever, ever, ever beat G GTA San Andreas, bro. I always played it all throughout my life, but I never beat the game, man. That shit is crazy as fuck. So, this is gonna be my first time ever beating GTA San Andreas, bro. Alright, so of course you know a big smoke was a traitor, but I didn't I didn't you know what I'm saying? I ain't make it that far. So them videos and they be like signs that Big Smoke was a traitor. This is one of them. I ain't never watched none of the videos, but I know this is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Cause how why the fuck you not shooting and all of a sudden we want to go get something to eat and everybody for they know where we at and these niggas riding trying to kill us. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, bro, this this one of those. This one of those. I need to get one of them guns before we do it. That was some serious Come on, CJ. Earn your key. Give me drugs. But that goddamn car clean as hell. Yeah, man. No ball. I be here, man. Let's get back to the grove. Let's get back to the grove. Support the community. Man, destroy it. That food fills a hole. Shut your ass up. Next time, you better start blasting. I'm going to blast you myself. That's one up for the grove. Say what, smoke? All you managed to do was eat my damn food up. <laughs> yeah, getting cold. Y'all coming in for a beer? Nah, baby. I need to get back to the crib. All of a sudden, you gotta go back to the crib. All right, smoke. Let's go. That shit crazy, ain't it? What was with you back there, smoke? Man, if you can eat your food while everybody else is losing theirs and blaming you, you straight, home. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's some real shit too. That's like that's some real like bro. Smoke had them lines like when I got me playing this game at this age that I am and listening to these lines. Like when I was playing this shit, when I was ain't understand none of this man was telling me. I'm just playing this shit. But now all the shit that he be saying is like spot the fuck on. Like then they say if you can eat your food while everybody losing nails and they blaming you, you winning. <laughs> Meaning that if you can motherfucking be working hard for everybody bullshit, you know what I'm saying? You eating everything that they be trying to eat too. And and now they blaming you for they for they failure. That's just some real shit, bro. But yeah, man, fear of rejection, man. That's what this um that's what this video is supposed to be about. Uh I just had to play that, you know, let that play out because that's iconic. That's iconic, bro. 
That's an iconic uh, San Andreas scene. But yeah, fear projection is a is a dream killer. It's a dream killer. It, it kills everything, bro. Like everybody has their fears about something because they are not doing it. So they go have their say so's about shit and um, you know why they feel like you don't need to do this and why you don't need to do that and it's their fears. You know what I'm saying? Of a gangster physique, but yeah, man. Or if you want to learn moves, check out the gyms around. Go to the dumbbell icon display. Yeah, we finna hit the gym before we go to the mission, though. But yeah, fear projection, man. Um, you are everybody already know what fear projection is. Like somebody projecting their fears about shit. You know, they projecting their fears on you. All because they feel like, you know, it's something that they can't achieve or they fear some shit happening to you. Now, um, of course, everybody has a re their reason why, you know, you don't need to do something or something like that. But some folks do the shit all because they don't want you to do the shit. You know, they don't want you to do that because they didn't get to do that. So they project any type of fear of what they had for the shit on you. And unfortunately, it's it's deep. This shit deep. We gonna be working on the arms. We doing straight arms and chest. And uh, yeah, straight arms and chest. It's gonna start exercising. But yeah, shit, they gonna go fifty. Yeah, that shit too easy. We go up. But yeah, man, they project their fears on you. Damn. They hell this shit hard But yeah they project their fears on you Like I'm gonna give it, It's better It's better to give examples about this shit You know what I'm saying Instead of Instead of just saying what fear projection is Cause everybody know what fear projection is I mean it's somebody projecting their fears about something uh, About something You know what I'm saying Um, Some people be in good heart Some people be in bad heart I already said that So like Let's say for instance like The biggest thing that people fear is the military, you know, or anything. I mean, but that's the that's like one of the biggest fears early on age wise, because you know, um, when people turn eighteen, kids turn eighteen or whatever, or nineteen, they really don't have too many choices to go for unless they are already up off some other shit. Like they already got some money off some other shit, but they don't really um they don't really have too many shit to choose from. You know what I'm saying? Either the military, college. Or just, you know, working and staying with your folks. So everybody has their fears about the military. And uh, everybody fears when it comes to military is you getting your ass killed. You know? Man, that's just real shit. <laughs> you, you going you going to something that may that you may can die from. So it's like some people be projecting their fears of, man, you don't need to do that. You will get your ass killed and you you may get your ass murked or your first day out there, you finna get your ass. Like, I mean, rightfully so. But, let's say for instance, you done did your research on the shit. You already know what jobs you're going for, whatever you already know. You're not going to be in the, in, the, in the field of combat when it comes down to it. Like, let's say for instance, you got that down pack. <clears throat> now you got some folks that be like um some folks that don't want you to succeed at all they'll project their fears on you on purpose like bro you don't you scared to like you know the higher base training hard they gonna be yelling at you they gonna be doing this and doing that and you know um 
they gonna be talking about you bad and you ain't gonna be able to see your family no more and it's a lot of stuff you're gonna be going through bro you sure you want to go through that and all that shit all because they scared to go through the shit you know um losing weight like losing weight people can't project fears on you about losing weight bro Well, until we get that plug, we got to deal with a cat that always been there for us. Emmett, Seville Boulevard families. We ain't too close these days, but nonetheless, I'll take you to see him. Get ourselves strapped up. Come on, man. Nigga, shake him up again. Nigga, shake him up again. But let's say, for instance, with the losing weight situation, you know what I'm saying? People have them fears. Like, say, you like 300 pounds, you're trying to lose weight, and then somebody else is 300 pounds, and... You know, the person ain't never, ever had, had to um, lose weight. I mean, never wanted to lose weight or never have lost weight. They had their fear. Like, ain't you scared to be running? You're going to be tired. You may have a heart attack and all that shit. They put all that shit up on you. You be like, yeah, you right. I ain't even finna do that shit. You ain't going to want to do it. You're not going to want to do it, bro. So the fear projection shit kills everything. And... I, I can't even I, I can't even really say it's a black community problem because it's an everybody community problem. You know what I'm saying? But um, sometimes black people use that to keep you where you at. You know, to keep you not doing better than them. So that's why I put it in between with the black community because they have shit. Who shot at me? What you kids want? Hey, hey, pop. Hey, what's that? But a big ass does an eagle. That's right. Right. Say, ain't, ain't you dead? No, nah, Emmett. The other one, Carl. I'm s sorry about Beverly. That's why we're here, sir. We want to get the people who did it. Well, you come to the right place. Try anything you like, boy. Man, look at this old shit. <laughs> Hell no. Die, little glass ball of fool. Out of here. So proud of you, boy. Out of here. And they finna do the most. Why right this? Oh, this ain't the roller one. Yeah, I'm the best they ever was. Yeah, that's real gross. We style now. Nah. The chosen one. Oh man, check out this a big smoke. <laughs> Crouch. Oh, you're making me. Nigga, I'm a sharpshooter with this shit. Man, you ain't. Let me got down chain my gun. Well, I'm a spy. I'm a shark shoot on that bit, bro. You're a killer, baby. Ice cold. But remember something. Real strength come from within, my brother. Listen to the boy. Yeah, you I guess Liberty me. didn't soften you not, huh? Hey, look, let's Liberty play. City, baby. You round, I'm 100% behind you, boy. But remember this. You didn't get them from me. And remember this. Emmett is the place for guns. I've always got high-quality merchandise. And I've been proudly serving the community for over 30 years. Damn. <laughs> Crazy old fool. Hey, look, you drive, man. Bloody. Bloody. I be here, man. I'm talking about the choices all men face, brother. Sometimes they seem real, but other times there's no choice at all. At least you still. Man, bruh. Oh my god, bro. Big smoke with the fucking bars, bruh. God damn. 
Yeah. Man, this nigga, he taking over the bitch, shit. <laughs> Big Smoke taking over the bitch, bro. I'm finna leave the Big Smoke hands. It's, it's in safe hands. It's actually, no, it's not, but yo, it's in the safe hands. <laughs> My bad, man. I, I know I'm supposed to be talking and shit. We we were doing game playing shit at the same time, so my bad. Who the fuck this is, man? Speak. I thought you was representing. What? Go get some calls, fool. Wrong, but I thought you was rolling with Grove Street again. Already told you I am. Why well, ain't seeing your colors yet? You gotta fly the flag, man. Ain't nobody gonna respect you if you ain't representing your hood. All right, man. My bad. I just ain't got around to it yet. There's a beacon around the corner from the gym and Gatton. Go get yourself some green. And I'm not in the mood for this. I want to be cold. But yeah, so so people project people project fears up on you. And uh my my that's the haircut place. What the fuck is Binko's? I think it's I think it's that actually. Let me see some what the legend at. Oh, that's tattoos. Destination. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm getting a big smoke car. But yeah, people project people project fears on you. Um. Now I was just gonna get into the best way to combat that. The best way to combat that is to keep the shit to you. I'm talking, bro. Like that right there. Every time I always say the best way to combat some shit. Unfortunately, when it comes to the black community, it's not to say shit at all. <laughs> it's like, I know, I know, man. I know you want to, like, you know, celebrate with folks and um, get people insight and encouraging words and shit like that. Like, I know, I know, bro. But in reality, like, sh you can't really say shit, man, because people go project all these fear you don't like first of all you don't really know if people want to see you make it let's just put that in there you don't really know if people want to really see you make it so it's like if you say some shit you know they go try it, it's not even a fault it's really like it's embedded into their dna um in the black community we don't want to see motherfuckers make it so it's embedded it's embedded into the DNA of us. So if we don't wanna see you make it, bruh, we're gonna say whatever the fuck we're gonna say to make sure that it throws you off of your game to where you like, nah, I ain't gonna do it cause old buddy up there, you know, such and such is right. My homeboy said this shit. He probably write about the shit and you gonna stay the same. Yeah, unfortunately, like you gonna fucking stay the same. So that's why I always tell folks the best way to the best way to combat the shit is just don't say nothing, bro. Fuck what people talking about. Keep the shit to yourself because people go try their best to knock you off of whatever you're trying to do in life, bro. They go knock you out. They go try to they go try your they go try their best to knock you out, but don't know I don't care who the fuck you are. Don't nobody want to be left behind. Don't nobody want to be left behind, man. I don't know why the fuck I chose black bosses. I'm looking for some black shit, and why the fuck is black bosses in the tor in the in the torso shit anyway? Cause he gonna have to just wear those. I mean, not torso, but pants. I'm looking for some black pants. Hold on. I put the gray on fucking. I was scared to go on anything else. Shit loads too slow for me. The new gen got us fucking spoiled. <laughs> Shit load up instantly. Alright. my shit right here that's on the radio. Black low damn, you can't get the black low tops. Uh, let's see. Hey, yo, uh, oh damn, dang it. CJ clean as fuck. Fifty bucks. 
Let's see if I can get a gold chain. Dog test. African, Africa pendant. Hey, you know, I can't wait till I put the gold shit on. I love gold, bro. I love fucking gold. We just put the yellow watch on. That shit look crazy. We're at the G Shock. Yellow G Shock. <laughs> Alright, let's see a uh, green rag. I don't want no shit on my face. I love uh I don't like shit on my face. I don't even like wearing no mask. Like I better like wearing shades too. But shades clean as fuck though. You just gotta find the right ones. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. So uh, yeah, the best way the best way to fight the best way to battle battle against uh fear projection is to just don't say shit. Um I hate that it gotta be like that. Because I know as human beings, it's hard for us not to say nothing about what we got going on. I'm going to take that chain off. It's hard for us to say to not say nothing about what we got going on all because we want the support and everything. But in reality, bro, like, we will always, unfortunately, we will always um not want each other to make it. Some folks, now you have, you have a certain community of people that want you to make it. And... You have to build that shit. Like everybody have to um have to have them five people, four people, or even that person to build you up. You know what I'm saying? To help you um help you keep that mindset of being on top. That mindset of just you know, just, just being better. You know, you gotta have them folks in your circle. It always it all depends on who you got in your circle, man. So uh the only way that's the only way to combat it, man. Keep the shit to yourself. Or build you a circle of people that has the same type of goal, same type of mindset. But you also have to be careful with that shit too, cause the niggas in your circle can change on you. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 deep, man. This shit deep, bro. You know what I'm saying? Chess, chess one, I mean, chess one day, on us one day, chess one day, on us one day. I thought I got on the shit. Damn. The it was zero o'clock when we went, went to the gym, so we got to wait 24 hours. Well, we got to wait a couple more hours. Well, yeah, man. That's the best way to, to battle fear projection, bro. Just, just don't say shit. Build you up a circle, you know, and, uh, and grind. You just got to be careful who you put in your circle and... If you can't, if you can't not say shit about what you got going on, just be careful who you say the shit to, and notice the fear of projection. If somebody just start talking about, well, what if this happened? What if that happened? And what if this happened? What if this happened? And all that shit, bro. Uh, just try to ignore, you know, and try to put the shit in the back of your mind, and just grind, bro. Like, really, like, if you grinding, you ain't really got no time to say shit to nobody. And you won't even have to hear what nobody have to say if you're fucking grinding. You know what I'm saying? If you out here getting to it. So, you know. Other than that, man. That's all I got for this one. Fear projection. But turn the Kirk out. Peace.